All right. Let's get this started then. So, uh, hello everyone, and welcome to Voxie Day CERN. Hi, Josh. So, after several months of preparation, uh, the day has finally arrived. We're very happy to have you here to host Voxie Day CERN, and I hope you have a great time and you have a great uh, uh, show here. So, as some of you know, Voxie Day is a spin off of the Vox Conference, one of the largest development conferences in the world, the Divox, Divox, Divox brand. And Voxie Days is uh, a one day event organized by the local community and sponsored by the Divox team. So, if you have heard about TED Talks, uh, you can think of Divox as being TED and Vox TED as being TEDx, so independently organized events by local communities. But now, before delving any further into details about uh, the preparative talk for this, uh, let's watch a video to try to better understand how Voxit Days came to CERN, quite literally. <laughs> Stefan over there, carrying the banner. All right, so now I'd like to invite on stage Stefan Janssen from Devox Belgium, Mark Hazel from Devox UK, and Mario Fusco and uh, Federico from Vox de Zurich. So welcome, guys. <laughs> so without these guys, this event would not have come to be. They are the main reason for it to take place. In fact, I went to Zurich last year to join as a speaker for a quickie talk there, and I questioned these guys, why there was a Vox Day uh, Zurich, why there was a Vox Day Ticino, but nothing in this area, right? There's nothing in this corner. Where is Vox Day Geneva, right? So I invited them to come over. They said, yeah, for sure, let's go to CERN tomorrow, no problem. So the day after, they took the train to come here in the morning. We showed them around, go to Atlas, go to data center as well, the cycle cyclotron. And then basically we had the lunch, and on the spot, we decided, let's do Vox Day CERN, in fact, next year. We decided exactly at that time. So, uh, would you like to say some words about this, yeah, Stefan? Well, I think, well, first of all, this is the epicentrum of science, right? So everybody feels really at home and very excited about it. And I think the, the, the moment you got us was like, yeah, we, we can probably arrange going down underground with the speakers. And when you said that, we said, yeah, okay, that's, that's fine. <laughs> Anything else, it's just the detail. Exactly, exactly. Go and this is just a like detailed event. So for me, that was the motivation. <laughs> all right, it was cool. very, very easy to convince a few other rock star speakers all to right. actually commit. So, uh, that's great. I'm a bit overwhelmed, to be honest with you. I mean, there's so much history just here on this spot. Uh, Joe was telling me who's spoken on this spot before, and that made me a little nervous because um, <laughs> I haven't got anything as interesting as they had to say. But I, I mean, I've been running around for about four months now, just geekily at home, kind of every now and then jumping up and down in excitement about this very moment now. So, and I'm so much energy and commitment's gone into this from everybody, Jarrell in particular. Um, I feel like we're Skype best buddies nowadays. Yes, we are. Um, because BFFs the for BFFs. <laughs> and um, I just hope that you all really enjoy what's been curated, all of the speakers that have come in today, um, who I know are super excited about coming and talking to you. So enjoy your day. Okay. I really, I cannot believe that I'm here. I was saying uh, right now to Federico, look where I brought you. <laughs> <laughs> All the way from and, Italy. Uh, and now we are here, I'm uh, very happy. And uh, yes, we did the Boxer Days uh, Zurich two days ago. We are here and uh, we will do the next one in Ticino in uh, the first Saturday of May. So of course, uh, everybody's welcome if you, you want to attend. Yeah, thank you, Mario. And yes, it's really amazing to be here in this place. Really, we got inspired in many ways with one slide in particular at Devox uh, with the picture of Atlas. And at that moment, we thought of Joao, we started thinking, and everything just went through perfectly. So enjoy the day. The talks will be great. 
leave the event as a community event, contribute as you want, participate and give your feedbacks. And yeah. it's Federico, like that and next year, so now we cover the German canton, the French one, the Italian one. For when? Uh, sure, when do we need to ensure for the whole uh, language? Uh, we, we could do it. We could <laughs> find we somebody. Have, we have to cover it still. We have to cover it still. Locally, I mean, <laughs> we cannot manage from remote. All right. Just do it. All right. So thank you so much for all your support, guys, and uh, in particular to Stefan as well and Mark, because they got all these rock star speakers here. So Josh and here, Stefan, uh, you can hear that they got even from the US yesterday, full of jet lag, I imagine. Uh, so thanks so much, Stefan from Devox UK and Mark for organizing all these speakers to come here today. <laughs> all right, so let's just talk about schedule. So the schedule, in fact, on the back of your badge. So you have here the full schedule for the event. We're going to have two parallel tracks. One right here, main auditorium, so the largest room, OK? And the other one is the council chamber. So for those of you who never been to CERN, uh, the council chamber is just in this corridor on the other side, OK? Just keep walking. Uh, one minute walk, you'll be there, all right? And uh, there's also a digital panel on the main area where the coffee uh, was, which has directions, if you can get it lost, of where the main auditorium is and where the council chamber is, okay? Uh, so, there were, however, some last minute changes, okay? So, Trisha Gee unfortunately had to cancel her talk, but we already found an excellent Replacement speaker, so Mario Fusco, another Java champion, a rock star speaker, offered to uh, talk on her behalf. So we'll talk about how to apply the classic Gang of Four design patterns in a functional way using lambdas. And then in the afternoon, also Roy Van Rien also had to cancel his talk, he got sick. So we're going to have instead a panel with uh, Derek, Stefan Luders, the head of computer science, computer security, sorry, at CERN. Uh, also Audrey Neveu, one of the speakers. Daniel De Luca, the co-founder of Devox for Kids, and moderated by Dan Hardiker. So you're going to be in a council chamber, okay, in the last session of the day. And then, of course, at lunchtime, six quick sessions from CERN engineers. So we're talking about things such as how does CERN protect themselves from security uh, threats from the outside, also how do we use Java on the accelerator complex of the LHC here at CERN, about big data at CERN. So Seriously cool topics, so if, I'd love to recommend that you have a quick lunch and come back quickly to see these talks. They're going to take place as well on the main auditorium and on the council chamber, two parallel tracks for the CERN talks. And just to finalize some quick practical information, so the official hashtag for the event is VDC17, so Vox Day CERN17. So please do tweet your impressions in there and uh, pictures of the event. Our Twitter handler is Vox at CERN, in case you don't follow it already, please do. And we'll also be publishing several pictures of the talks throughout the day over there. And of course, the food, so right after the keynote, there'll be some nice breakfast, nice croissants, pain au chocolat, all the Swiss goodies over there uh, in the common area outside. So just make sure you grab one over there, all right? Lunch will take place in the CERN cafeteria, so the one I go to every day, the famous restaurant one. We have three at CERN. So uh, there'll be both a vegetarian and non-vegetarian option. So you, for those of you who have the voucher, just go downstairs, grab a lunch. And one more thing, uh, we'd like as well to announce that tomorrow, CERN will host for the first time the first edition of Divox for Kids CERN. So we'll have 72 kids coming tomorrow at the CERN Globe of Science and Idea Square. We'll do several workshops with them. We're going to teach them uh, how to program, how to do electronics in a fun and practical way, using robots such as the Neo robots you see over there, Arduinos, Minecraft. You're going to teach them how to do uh, HTML pages. So, seriously cool stuff. And now, on to the keynote, so where Derek will tell us a little history about our universe. Isn't that right, Derek? That's right. <coughs>